Hello everybody, my name is Grancel and welcome to a game called Cataclysm Darkness Head. Now this is a different kind of game that I use I usually play in my channel but I think it deserves a chance to be played. Now let's go play a game. Custom character of course. Want to custom my character always. Let us become uh, stuck in a city full of risen dead. That should be very good. In a town, yes. Let us be in a town. And BA hmm what should be good fast food cook let's be uh, a hobo shall we a hobo look I'm a hobo maybe we Okay, here's this. Here's the scenario. We are a hobo, which, which have found, just found a house before the apocalypse, and we got drunk. That should be good too. We got drunk, and as soon as we wake up. Everyone is a walking dead. <laughs> that should be a very nice thing. I mean, not for our character, but for the story, at least. Alright. Mini 5, very strong. Very, very strong. We just punch people in the face or just have many skills you know skill and finesse in personal combat both with with and without weapon higher levels can significantly increase the ac accuracy and effectiveness of your physical attacks now the first weapon that hobo have is undershirt pants knit, knit scarf Whiskey gin and other stuff. Cheap wine pouch, bindle, whatever that is. Beans, pocket knife, matchbook. You have a pocket knife. We could use that in our advantage. So we could um, at least put one in piercing. I think that's a cutting weapon. Cutting weapon. Of course it is. Oh, it is. Okay, we will be. What should be the name? Tom Zimmerman. No. Maybe Jeffrey Felder. Jeffrey Felder, the hobo who just found a, a house, got drunk, and after he woke up, everyone is walking dead. Should be a good story should be now you just woken up everything's looking swirly as you're still in a hangover you just want to get out the house get out of the house and hey there's a meeting there's a missing tool tape what's this that's grass okay you just saw somebody. Oh, there's a zombie dog too. I don't know if I want to roleplay anymore. I think I'm going to die. No, that I think they are too far away to be noticed. Okay, too far away. I spotted the zombie. That's not a problem. He's a hobo. He can take care of himself. I think. Oh, here's the map. Oh, here's everything. 
locate in oh that should be a nice spot to be in anyway going on with the story he just walks around you see everybody is looking around in his in his surroundings and he thinks they're just ordinary people living ordinary lives hmm and he says oh look at these people uh, they're just walking around like it's a nice day it's a nice day walking around nothing's nothing really going on everything's fine and honky dory and then some hippie van got destroyed north you hear car you hear crash what crash and you just notice a person is trying to destroy his own car but this person is not an ordinary person he is a deformed human its arms dangle around the size like a limbs of some skinless, skinless ape mind, mindlessly groping at their surroundings that's a very disturbing sight to see I don't wanna dwell around in it and he just comments oh, oh your hands your hands are sticking up too far away and he just walks walks away he just walks away now everyone seems to be looking except for that that's a shrieker now how do you oh how about this the first thing he saw uh, the first one that approached him seems to be an elongated human body with swollen chest gaping hole where his jaw used to be and he just noticed that something is up with this guy and he saw a monster i must run away from him must run away oh now he's gotta kill him he's calling from the north you hear a terrible shriek you see that that yellow yellow announcement that means he just made a terrible shriek he must be calling his allies he must take a weapon and everything and he must see a he must shove the pocket knife down his throat block little damage with your knife poke the shrieker hmm. oh Dodge Shrieker Zombie. Oh, this is very good. It's your. Oh, crap. Come on. There you go. Now, what's on you? There's a cash card, of course. That should be very nice. Backpack. Take it. And nothing else, I think. No. Just wear the backpack, of course. Backpack should be all should always be a good thing to have in an apocalyptic scene like this. And some he knows something's up, and he needs to get to the evac shelter, of course. That's a normal guy should do. Now go go go, run away. Run away for everything. Run away from everything. Don't look back. Don't look back. His hands start shaking. You need a drink bad. You could just drink. Oh, he's a hobo. I forgot. Now he's feeling really. He's not feeling really well because he needs a drink. His hands are shaking. <laughs> oh man. What the I do to this guy? What? The whole, the moose? No, go away. Oh, the moose is going to kill him. 
His head is not good. Oh, your back is ripped. Oh, man. Oh, man. The moose just got cranky and attacked us. Oh, off with the, off with the role playing then. We're not going to Iraq Shadow. We're going to Heaven Street. Yes. There we go. Look, it's still bouncing us, even he's getting eaten. Huh. Okay, alright, alright, stop. Okay, Jeffrey Felder. He just noticed, he just woke up from his slumber. Got a little hangover, of course. Looks around, he's... He thinks that everything is okay. He's wrong. He just got approached by a shrieker zombie. It has no jaw. It just yelled on his face on its face. He killed the shrieker zombie. However, every zombie in the town noticed the shriek and they come towards Jeffrey. In Jeffrey's attempt to escape, he went he went for the evacuation evacuation center, but the moose just a cranky moose just went went on Jeffrey's way and mangled him. Just mangled him. Why? I don't know. It's cranky. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't even know what it's doing anymore. It just want it just went to a blind rage and destroyed Jeffrey. That's the story. So Thank you guys for watching. If you like this please leave a like and if you want to see something please leave a comment down below and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Let's go back to the story. Just run, 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 run. All you do is run. Have no horses in Salt Time. No horses at Salt Time. Very good. You should have any something. See, at least. Top of is much bigger than our village. But why would anyone need so many villages? I don't know. Because it's a great city. Jeffrey Felder, the hobo who just found a, a house, got drunk and after he woke up, everyone is walking dead. Should be a good story.